<laughs> There's a few moves I didn't know existed. <laughs> what was that? Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here and today we have some brand new insanely epic stuff to get into today. Today we finally added the Beast Titan to Arc Survival Evolve from Attack on Titan. So last time we showed off like we added the Colossal Titan, a bunch of people were like, what the hell's Attack on Titan? Which made me realize about half my viewers don't watch that show because they don't watch anime and stuff. But even if you don't like anime, I promise, it's just like, don't, don't. Don't stop yourself from watching this amazing show. But here it is right here. Beast Titan Summoner used to craft with element, pelt, raw meat, and prime meat. And I haven't crafted it yet. I'm assuming I have the stuff on me. I'm assuming once um, you craft it, then the Beast Titan summons, right? That's, it's Beast Titan Summoner. That's usually how these things go. Also, I linked down below me reacting to Kong vs. the Beast Titan on Goji Center for anyone who wants to watch. Because that's pretty much what we're going to base the power level off for all these. Because those, those geniuses already figured it all out. I just want to thank you guys personally. Whoa, Jesus Christ! All right, let's just go get right into this because I am freaking excited as hell. Frame for saying it's the one kaiju in this that, um, well, speak, even though I guess by the definition it's not a kaiju because a kaiju is a large, mysterious creature and we know much too much about the Beast Titan for it to ever be considered a kaiju. Like, literally, but just for the sake of the mod, we're just going to call everything here kaiju just because... I don't know. Screw it. Where's the police for this? You can't stop me no matter who you are. But also, I wanted to say thank you to you guys. A couple videos ago, I shouted out uh, on my reaction channel, my side channel. Goji said it was saying if a comment got a thousand likes, then I'd get free merchandise. So I asked you guys to go, that bitch stole my health potions. <laughs> Motherfucker. What even happened right there? An explosive dodo got me. God damn, bro. Holy crap. Wow. What a, what a. What a couple of minutes of, of life right- Oh, this- that- that's- yep, yeah, that- It's right there, that's bunk beds, it's behind my- My paddock, I can't, uh- Can't believe it just happened! <laughs> that was- that was so sudden. Those explosive dodos, they're such bitches. But either way, their comment got a thousand likes, they messaged me on Instagram, cause they're freaking awesome! Hang on! What the hell's going on out here?! Well, long story short, we're getting the merchandise, so thank you all. I'm sorry that story had like 15 break-aparts and was stretched on for like five minutes. I was being mauled by animals, which is weird, because I'm a snake dude. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna drive around real quick, just kicking shit in the face. Just to feel better about life, because the fact that I dismounted and was mobbed by dodos and robbed, I never got my health potions back. Dude, where would those potions even have gotten off to? Don't they drop in like a separate box? So wouldn't there just be like an item on the ground located around here? Or would it be in its in- Nope, nope, it's gotta be this! No, that's my stuff. That's like the fourth time I checked that. I'm so stupid. Is this the end of my health potions? It was so- uh, Damn it! Honestly, what the hell are birds even getting this big for? Absolutely ridiculous. Like, this is where- This is where shit started to go downhill and that- Let's just get to the Beast Titan! Okay, everyone is finally dead. Jesus Christ, that was intense. I always forget that's gonna happen when I get here. Okay, it is finally time to shine. I suppose just keep my kaiju tucked away right now. Godzilla is still weak as hell, dude, and health potions don't work on him. He's gonna need another update for sure. Actually, there's a giant burning Godzilla update color. Not burning, nuclear Godzilla. I forgot there's a big difference, but... Oh my god, is that a- I feel like I should just show you guys the video really quick. I will, I'm sorry, it's gonna be right- and poof! Like, that's gonna be the sexiest update ever, man. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Okay, well, one thing, he spawns tame, thank God. I was so, after, like, the last few updates, whenever, like, he spawned in a kaiju or anything, and they spawn untamed, and they just try and kill your ass, that shit is so terrifying. I was, like, so prepared to get my ass beat. This is kind of nice. I'm happy he's on our side. So here he is. I think his size is just about perfect. I think they might have- no, cuz how tall is- See, it's hard to scale, cuz Attack on Titan stuff seems freaking huge. But it's really not. Like, the Colossal Titan is the same size as Male Muto. They're both 60 meters. And Male Muto is pretty small on a kaiju scale, as far as they all go. It's like, his wife. Now that's a kaiju. Alright, this guy looks awesome as hell. Look at that big flumpity ass <laughs> I guess he got a big old monkey butt. It's the butt cheeks not being lined up perfectly for me. That really does it right there. Like something happened to that right cheek. Ooh, this is, this is freaky. 
like the stature of this guy and the thing is it's got to be modeled it's i'm pretty sure this model was taken from an attack on titan game so if anyone says it's not accurate and stuff you're just literally arguing with the exact franchise it's not th this thing was not modeled by us no way so they do just legit i guess he's always been a very awkward shaped fella though he's like the weirdest shaped dude on the planet with those arms he's freaky man i love how thick his thighs are at the top and how dainty they get towards the bottom by his feet this dude could not be more weirder shaped if he tried. All right, let's build up a sprint. Ooh, damn. That looks cool. He looks way more threatening when he's sprinting than when he's just doing that walk around, which, when he's walking, it looks like he just pissed his pants and he's on his way at the shame walk to his mama's bedroom to let her know. That's like what he, what he walks like in the, in the show. He's just, he's just freaky as hell. Oh my God, has anyone ever seen the live action, the, the two part movie of Attack on Titan live action? It was like freaking, the, the acting, not the acting, I didn't even mind. It's more the story being total buttholes, but if there was ever a beast titan in that, holy shit. That would have been so scary. All right. This might cause some damage, but this is how we test. I feel like the tree actually just saved our life. Yeah, no. Anything kaiju class isn't meant to take fall damage right here, so I was pretty confident. Dude, those eyes are so damn scary. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky looking son of a bitch is what we got going on over. Oh! Alright, that's a brood mother right there. I don't necessarily see us being because that has 2.3 million health. I have um I was hoping yes, they do work. Oh yes, the health potions work. I mean not the health potions, the experience potions. I think I have a few bigger ones at base too. That's going to I think I could just run around stepping on shit, actually. That seems to be a pretty legit way to gather XP right now. I'm gonna buff this thing's melee damage because I know in a second when we try these moves it's gonna because it's made by framed and chrono There's no way it's not gonna be the most batshit crazy thing ever. All right, let's check out what these moves do I guess face the Sun so it's prettier. This is like my little area the sand spot. This is where we show off moves Oh my god Holy shit Dude, it broke the game's textures and did so much epicness right there. Oh god! I don't want to piss that guy off either. There's a power flex going on. He's showing off as well with his boobs. Dude, that was the coolest goddamn thing I've ever seen. Alright, here's our... It's so nice having these sound effects in the game. Alright, so I think that was our right click. Because these are our... Yeah, this is like our standard hits. This gets so goddamn scary. Oof, don't even smile like that. Okay, watch out. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that guy. He's getting a little closer. Making me feel scared. I think a few kaiju we are going to start making ridiculously powerful. At least maybe one. One kaiju capable of beating everything in Primal Fear. Maybe we nerf it after Primal Fear series. Because I feel like this was initially going to be the last series that I played. But now there's like infinite other monsters we could add to this game. So now nah, I'm going to play it forever. That dude is rainbow shits. What is that? Fabled kill fabled unicorn. Only 30,000 health. It's so beautiful though. Dude, Beast Titan is so freaky because he, he seems so reasonable and intelligent and half the time he's not even like the most troublesome guy. He kills you from far away, but then when he does get angry, that's what makes it all so much scarier. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, shit! What is happening right now? That right there, that, that has the mark of the framed all over it, man. It's got the craziest death animations. Ass? I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm, I'm so concerned over the dreams that Framed has when he's asleep. What are other buttons? Whoop! My ears, dude. <laughs> that was so loud. That was so epic. I'm trying to remember what buttons do stuff. Typically in this game. Well, that's fucking insane right there. It seems like the audio did sharply cut off at the end, but I guess that- What the hell? <laughs> I think that's how you have to do it, though, because I'm pretty sure in the show it carries on for much longer. The animation would have to be so- What is this guy doing? He's literally just lured to me. He was so far away over there. This I've never felt more chosen by the universe than selected right now by this animal. This is like a beautiful- Beautiful thing. Dude, this guy looks so awesome. I'm gonna go to war with his ass in a second, but 
I don't have any special kibble for him, but he's like the most beautiful animal I've ever, I'm sure we have some at base. Damn it, he's too gorgeous. I actually forgot I was supposed to like move this series along too, cause I do eventually want to beat it. But like I said in a previous episode, I don't want to do the whole typical, I, I really, you don't really have to do anything any way you want to in the entire world. You can just do whatever the hell you want forever. And it's a pretty fantastic thing. And I think what I want this time and like this, this weird little branch of the universe we find ourselves in. I think what I'm gonna do is think of some crazy ass batshit crazy kaiju like Shin Godzilla stage 3 or like uh, Godzilla Ultima something like that to make them 20 times harder to tame than the rest of these and make it 20 times stronger than the rest of these and that's how we're gonna start whooping the series ass because again you can really do whatever you want in the world it's fantastic now come here bitch and love me knockout damn it damn it to hell hang on I was on the ground would have been crap hang on I thought of what this, this is not the kind of love I wanted. This is like old school 14th century love. You gotta knock the woman out and then, no! All that work and effort. Oh, oh, my soul. Oh, my soul hurts a little bit after that one. Shit. <laughs> I went through so much for this creature, bro. I went above and beyond for this thing. I got off my new creature. I went like stole from Crisco. I found love, bro. Some bullshit. All right, well, now I'm ready for my rampage. Whoop! Epic. Look at those abs, too, with the poopa. He's got it going on. Man, feet are so nasty. Now, the only issue I should bring up with, like, this, because I know... Now he wants a saddle! You stinky bitch. How does this even make sense? What? It didn't require a saddle last time, right? Like, am I on crack here? I'm pretty sure I'm not on crack. Cause the pat, like, how does it need a, it doesn't even have a saddle. I think what we've got here is some sort of a bug. Perhapsably, a bug possibly caused by this mod here, most likely. So let's go ahead and just keep spawning it in over the best. Hope it's just gonna get rid of that crap eventually. I think this did just like reset it to some freaking, uh, it, it like to whatever it's base or uh, like core settings are for whatever rig. No, but it wasn't any rig. It's got to be a custom rig. It's nothing else rig. So this is weird. I'm just going to use some admin commands on this thing because clearly it's broken. Let me rephrase that. It's not broken. It's just conflicting with another mod. I don't think either of them are broken necessarily, but when put together, the results are doo-doo butter. But let me just say, before everyone comments future titans that they want to get in this game, now we did before add a 14 meter tall, like average titan, and we added a colossal titan. The 14 meter tall titan did all my videos got flagged for adult content because it's got butt cheeks, dude, like big ol' butt cheeks. And you get like an army of it, it's just an army of butt cheeks. We did look at the attack titan before this because the attack titan's like my personal favorite. He's just freaking insane, like horrifying in every sense of the matter. But that dude is like 85% butt cheeks. Like we tried, it just would not, can't be done. So like a lot of them we'd love to get in here, but we simply can't because of the tremendous amount of ass that they bring to the table. And YouTube's not into ass stuff, unless it's like, I don't know, whatever weird YouTube crap they do. Now prepare to make like a hippie at a music festival and get stoned. I love that so much, dude. I wonder if it's gonna reach him. Well, it reached the shit out of that Pteranodon. Looks like it hit a bunch of stuff scattered, which is pretty freaking perfect, considering that's basically what it does in the show. He just like launches, I guess he snipes sometimes, but for the most part, general, just barrage of rocks. Oh, All right, here we go. He's like on ground zero of it. Woof! It doesn't do that much damage. Wow, I love how like much it does all over though. Looks like it's still doing some sort of damage down there. I feel like it's pretty well balanced though. What do you guys think? Like, do you guys think it should do more damage, less damage? Cause realistically it is just throwing a rock. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the most godly thing on the planet. Like I just reacted to Goji Center's video, ironically, on freaking Beast Titan vs. First Kong, just specifically to check out what we were gonna do with this mod. I wasn't gonna post that till later this week though, but there's, he makes great points scientifically regarding the fact that it may just be a rock, but due to the tremendous like velocity and everything of the Beast Titan's arms that they pick up some sort of, you know, force that would just tear through even a Kaiju. All right, Beast Titan's hold, holding together strong as hell. There's just so many of these nerds after me right now. If I could 
I love this rock though so much. This this goddamn thing's magical powers are such a pain. Oh lord! Ground zero for this one. Woo! Oh my god, the freaking Brood Mother's got so much shit going on, dude. Like a tremendous amount of powers. Like crazy. I mean, we are fighting a Brood Mother right now. It's it is a boss creature, and we haven't leveled this thing much necessarily, so. And we barely lost any health. Like, I'm not hating it. I love this dude. I think he may just need a few more levels. I'll get him out in a second. Let me just go ahead and make the world a safer place. For all of us, really quick. You just wait until Godzilla could go nuclear. Y'all just. I forgot I was so weak! Damn it, Johnny, you literally just covered this like five seconds ago, you dumb bitch. I'm still going for it! Scary. Hollow Earth Breath, though. Nothing beats it. Like, it's beautiful. I think I'm missing for the most part and putting Godzilla in detrimental harm right now. I'm sorry, I forgot he didn't heal. This changes everything. Get wrecked. I love how, oh man, that may have caused more damage to my own buddy than I anticipated. That's on me, buddy. Pepe Forever Growing Stronger, though, is the name we went with with the skull crawler because it's beautiful. I do want to go back over there and get some sweet revenge. I think that'd be, man, that arrow messed my shit up. There was no way that was just the arrow. Like, that had to be from something else. There's no way I'm this stupid. What I was going to say, though, was what makes the skull crawler so special, amongst other things, is its ability to lay down. Does absolutely nothing in the range of combat, but man, is it adorable, a big sleeping freaking skull crawler. Like, that's, that's peak, that's peak kaiju content right there. I'm gonna snipe the shit out of that bird! Oh my god, I thought for a second it wasn't gonna hit, and that was just like the biggest dorkiest thing I've ever done. Look at it though! Isn't it magnificent? Just a big passed out crawler in the water. I, I, I told you guys that the skull crawler was gonna be a prime part of the survival series from here on out because it's a freaking skull crawler. All right, gorgeous. Enough nap time's over. Get in your goddamn ball. Is it? Where am I going? I'm literally okay. That's what happened. The server crapped his pants. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say. All right, we need to get this dude to a much higher, more respectable level. Beast Titan must be feared. Beast Titan wants a saddle once again. Beast Titan may have a little bug going on. Who amongst thou wants to kiss my balls? Not you guys, these guys. Trying to level this dude up. Trying to find a place where there's like a bajillion of a little fellas. A bajillion of a little fellas would be fantastic. I just killed so many bunnies with my bare feet. Can you imagine how hardcore that would feel? The crushing feel of bunnies in betwixt your toes? That's insane. I knew it. There's always like 50 things on this little rock. The spawns on this thing are so busted. It's fantastic. Prepare to die, nerds! Woo! That could not have gone down more beautifully. Also, I'm sure this texture thing will be sorted uh, at, in time as well. The creature is in early testing stage. You know, you know what I'm saying? God damn, it's a big ass noodle. That guy's just intimidating, bro. Like, from my size, even. What the hell's going on back there? I had to squash this noodle. It was like my prime goal. I was gonna go over here, but now there's a dark, godly essence radiating from. Uh, that just screams unsafe. A shadow nameless. It only has 130,000. Yeah, why is it acting. Why is it like changing the. The future and the time space continuum over here with these powers. Unless it's not him doing it. But it is him doing it. I'm so confused. About yeah, see, that's suspicious shit right there. Dude, these two will not get off my nuts, and they are both so incredibly fast. Like, how are they even able to keep up with me remotely? Should not be able to do that. How strong is that enforcer? I'm gonna kill you, sir. I love hearing his voice every time I do that move. It's so freaking much. Woo! Dude, the after effect on that is crazy. Plus, seeing all the places like the little rocks travel to is so cool. That move is honestly one of the greatest things I've ever seen so far. Oh shit. Oh shit. I stepped on a um I stepped on a demonic. Okay, good. It barely even took notice of me. Good, good, good. The Reapers aren't too intimidating. I'll bet they pack a lot of experience points though, but that's if I can beat them. I'm not too confident in ourselves just yet. I want more strength. All right, this bitch gonna follow me to the end of the world, so he's gonna die. Weirdo. I do believe that we managed to not hit him in any way, shape, or form right there, which is a 
very confusing. How does that even happen? I wonder if there's some sort of issue with it being right near me or right at the bottom. He can not look more pissed off over the fact that the shot didn't land. There we go. Ooh, only 700 for that? I don't know. I feel like that should be hitting for a lot more right there. What the brother shit did he just come from? Yeah, there seems to be some sort of issue with hitting stuff right next to us. At our feet, perhaps? That one did it. They just have some insane ass damage reduction is what's going on here. The, the, that shit does not affect them in any way, shape, or form. That's crazy. Wow, so it does. Everything I've said is incorrect, unfortunately, but still, they're beating my ass, so I'm going this way. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Beast Titan swimming animation? Hang on, I didn't even realize this would be a part of this mod, and now it's quickly upgraded to itself to like the best part in my eyes. That's adorable. Why does that sound so adorable to me for some reason? Such a ridiculous concept. <sighs> Here we go. I wish I could cannonball into the big open ocean. Whoops! We just belly flopped! Submerged, buddy! Wow. Freaky. He's got a funny little butt from down here. He's the funniest shape, dude. I swear to God. Like, nonsense. <laughs> He's so weird. You know what would be awesome, I think, is the freaking Armor Titan. Because the Armor Titan doesn't seem to show much butt, right? Founding Titan, Armor Titan. I think the Cart Titan actually is a good possibility. I remember seeing a model for the Cart Titan on, like... Deviant Arch, possibly, I believe, but there was like a model for the Car Titan available, so which means. And the Car Titan's nice because it didn't show any cheeks. I forgot to mention that's why it was like my next choice, preferably. I think. Realistically, it'd be that. Dude, just sitting here or standing here throwing rocks at fish with tremendous godly amounts of strength, although I would love me a freaking experience potion at this point. But like a big ass mega potion. Those other ones barely did anything, they got me up like 20 levels. Oh my god! A whole new move I didn't even know existed! Jesus Christ, that was insane! Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> There's a few moves I didn't know existed. <laughs> what was that? That's so funny, I forgot about the three major shift moves. I was just pressing the regular ones. I didn't know they existed, so this, just so everyone's clear, was the regular shift one. That's Q, the regular Q one. I, I honestly imagine I would have done so much better in combat earlier had I known all the moves. I'm a little bad at myself. And then here's the shift cue. Wow, look at what it's gathering for me also. That's the goddamn move right there. That's like the major move. And my, my, I'm so stupid for using... I'm, I'm very mad at myself. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> A key move. And the other one. Such an insane job too with crushing up those boulders. I know that wasn't easy. I know there's no way that could have been easy. Like the fact that it appeared into a smaller boulder every time the animation moved through as the hand was crushing. There's no way that was easy, bro. Well, this creature is insane and exceeds my expectations like crazy, especially with this shit right here, baby. Gotta end the video as sexy as it began. That's science. That's content 101. But yeah, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more if you guys want to see more crazy shit added to ARC, and I'll see you next time. Peace!